don't be no sad. That vest ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese, bro. Don't even get down for the bread. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, let them sleep. Yeah, call it plot. Cut me some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. I'm not even gonna lie, man. My back feeling so good. I can't wait for my wife to come home tonight. It's going down. I have been denying her. I kind of chalked it up as, yo, you know, it's November. And you know how I get during November. I just want to concentrate and, and save my human essence. But really, my back killing me. It's, it's just excuses. You know, my back killing me. I can't, I can't do what, what it do. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. But look, let me tell y'all something. My man's, right, one of my, my, my best friends from high school, he told me about this joint right here. It's called Golden Royal Honey. Now, I know it's a lot of y'all on here. Don't be ashamed now, because I really don't need it, because I'm good. But ain't no, pro ain't no problem with having a little extra boost. So this, I'm not sponsored by these folks. I'm literally telling y'all something that my man's put me on to, and I tried it, and it's actually good. So instead of getting Viagra, get you some Golden Royal Honey. It's honey, ginseng, and some other stuff. This is how they come. They look like the little Gatorade packets. Like little yogurt packets, that's how it look, but it's literally honey. You take this about 30 minutes, 30 minutes before you do whatever it does. And it's not gonna keep your joint all up for the whole day. It just gonna kick in when you need it. That's how he explained it to me. And then I took a packet and yeah, it kicks in when you need it. You feel me? Any any bit of arousal, it kicks in. So your wifey walking around here in a thong, looking scrumptious, oh yeah, it's gonna kick in. So some golden royal honey. I'ma leave a link in the description. Of course, they not paying me for this, but still, I'm giving y'all a hookup and I might as well get paid for it now. So go ahead and try it. The link is gonna be in the description. It's gonna be an Amazon link. It's really not that expensive neither. It's like $15. But anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna give y'all a few uh, ideas as to how you know that your girlfriend or your wife might be for the streets. Now, don't be ashamed. It's a lot of y'all out there are dating people right now who for the avenue. And you might not know it. You might be in love. You know, she might be putting that thing on you. And I'm like, let me tell you something. This is another video I want to do, bro. Just because a chick got some good box does not mean it's love. You might be intrigued, infatuated with the level of, of freakiness that she putting on you. But that doesn't mean it's love, bro. That's where a lot of y'all get messed up at. But today, let's talk about a reason that signs that you might be with somebody that's for the streets and you just might not know it. If she measures your love for her based on how much money you spend on her, nine times out of 10, cause she for the streets. She for the block. She for the avenue. Recently I heard, it, it was some post. Shorty was like, if you can't, if you can't buy me a Birkin bag, then I, you know, you shouldn't be talking. It's some, something to that effect. You know, I'm, Birkin is out of my, my, tax, my, my tax bracket. So I don't know. You know, my wife don't ask for Birkin bags and stuff like that. But somebody can go ahead and say it, ladies. Oh, you broke. You gotta get your wife a Birkin. Ma'am, look, listen, look, look where we live at. Don't mind the roof. It's damn, it's a hole in the roof. But don't mind the roof. But look, we got a hole. We look, you feel me? You see what's going on right here? We got a roof over our head. My wife got a car. I got a car. My son is never gonna go hungry. Birkin who? Birkin who? Exactly. The hell you the hell you mean? I ain't gonna lie though. I think she said she wanna um she wants some type of bag. It ain't it don't cost so much a Birkin cost. I think that joint costs like five hundred dollars. I'm gonna get it for uh, for Kwanzaa. But that's the day, you know what I'm saying? She like, bro, my wife is not one of those people. She's not one of them people where you have to spend a whole bunch of money on her, bro. She rather spend time. She rather me clear my schedule so I can spend time with her or spend time with the family or something like that. And a lot of times it don't even involve money. Like some sometimes you might see us go to dinner and stuff like that, but that's because I want to go to dinner. It don't really be her. Like she sometimes she rather go to the park. She wanna go to um it got a place in, in downtown Atlanta called Pont City Market where you could like look at the skyline and walk the belt line and stuff like that. Like those are the type of corny stuff my wife like to do. You feel me? Like if the girl you with or the woman you with don't really put time above money, she for the streets, bro. She's for the avenue, the block. You feel me? She's everybody's friend. Another thing, if her outfits 
outfits are very important now there's nothing wrong with a woman dressing and looking looking her best you know um what's the word i'm looking what's the word i'm looking for a lot of our women are blessed they have very nice uh assets my wife has very nice assets um heavy on the assets <laughs> you know what i'm saying so she might wear a dress or you know some pants that just it accentuates her assets it's a lot of joints out there they go over and beyond. They're not accentuating their assets. They, they showing, they, they're them showing the thing. They're advertising it. If you're going out and your girl put an outfit on, right, that look like she about to go stand on the block, like she's selling poom poom, 30 minutes for $100, she for the streets. Now, I don't know if I, I explained it the right way, but think about it this way, right? I've, I've been to the club plenty of times, or I've been out plenty of times, and I've seen dudes with their girls, and their, the outfit their girls is wearing, I have to question myself, like, yo, why would you put that on with your man outside? I've seen plenty of moments, I'm not going to say the N-word, but N-word moments happen because a woman wore something that she probably should have just wore in the house. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of it's a lot of dudes out here, bro, that don't have no respect. And based on the fact that you don't have no respect for yourself, or they're going to disrespect you in front of your man. And now your man, being your man, and feeling as though he has to protect you, he going to say something. And now, depending on the type of person who disrespected you in front of your man, there's a chance that your man might be laid out on the sidewalk. Simply because you wanted to put an outfit on because you wanted the attention of everybody around. You wanted everybody to know, yeah, I got it back there, but I, not only do I have it back there, I'm an advertiser for you. Sorry, baby, if that's you, you for the streets, you for the block, you extra, you know what I'm saying? And. The next thing goes hand in hand with what I'm saying too. Attention. If your girl loves too much attention, and not attention from you, but attention from everybody else for the block. If she's in competition with other women who don't even matter, who shouldn't even matter, she for the block. And I'm gonna explain that to you in this way, right? Think about it this way. She's doing everything in her power. It seems as though everything she does is to make other females jealous. Whether it be females she grew up with, females she went to work with, you know what I'm saying? Females, your neighbors. Her whole goal for the day, like it makes her day to just make them jealous. You got to watch out for her. And the reason you got to watch out for her is because... Let's say she with you and you're not cutting it as far as making them other females jealous. Well, then, you know, your contract going to be up. She going to find a replacement. You up out of there. This is real. You know what I'm saying? Your girl go to work. She she cute. She at work. She cute. You know, and usually at work, bro, I'm going to be real with you. Depending on what type of job she have, I work in a factory. So I see this every single day. I work at a factory, bro. Factory jobs, bro. I'm gonna tell you something. Don't date no women that work at factories, bro. Cause you gonna you gonna put yourself in a, in a messed up situation. But anyway, she trying to be the cutest joint at the job. You know, she trying to get the most attention at the job. She for the streets. She for the streets, bro. Guarantee you, she got a work husband because it's making all the other females at the job jealous. For the streets. Just throwing that out there, man. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you leave a like, comment, and uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Because I know it's a lot of y'all that look at the video and you're not subscribed. Like, you, the videos pop up on your screen. You click it. You know who Overdose Laz is, but you're not subscribed to the channel. Please go ahead and subscribe. Okay, and another thing, 
if you right here looking at this video right now you made it this far into the video go ahead and click one of these other videos on the end screen because it helps the channel it's gonna bring the watch time up and you know this is good content this is not BS content this is not watered down content this is content that you need even if you a woman even if you a female I know a lot of my content is driven to making my young black and white and Hispanic and you know what I'm saying bro just brothers in general better to look out for themselves you might have a brother you might have a son that might need to see this video so go ahead and send the video out man this vid, I might, I might have just described your, your brother's girlfriend. You've been trying to tell him for years. Now is your chance. Squad. Don't be no set. That best ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese. Real don't get down for the bread. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, call it plot. Cotton some bar for the week. Squad. Who's, who's smoking that trash? We smoking that gas.